you can run any R scripts using Google Colab as well. For that, you have two ways. One is either using this particular link or another one is using this particular link. So difference between the two links is in first link, you will be able to use R within Python environment. And in the second, it will be purely R environment. You won't be able to use Python commands in this. So let's see that Google Colab very quickly. So over here, if you don't want to click on those URLs individually, you have that option over here as well. So for all this, just log in into your Google account, open Google Colab and from this runtime, click on this runtime tab and then click on this change runtime type. Over here, you will get these two options, Python 3 and R. So if you choose Python 3, then in that particular runtime, you will be able to use Python mm. and R both simultaneously. Whereas if you are going to choose this R option in that case, you won't be able to use Python commands. Right now, uh, this particular URL is for R runtime only and this URL, which is R in Python, in which we will be able to use R and Python simultaneously. So first, let's see R runtime only. So over here, as I mentioned, if I'm going to execute this command import pandas as pd, I won't be able to execute it because this is purely R runtime R environment. So in this case, if I want to execute any R related commands, that I will be able to do that. But over here, within this R runtime, R environment, we have one drawback that if you want to connect Google Drive with this runtime, you won't be able to do that. So for that, just click on this left hand side files folder then over here mount drive and you will see over here that the error is mounting your google drive is only available on hosted python runtimes means on our runtime you won't be able to mount this google drive but yes if you want to do any stuff in which google drive mounting is not required and you just want r only in that case you will be able to do this particular kind of the stuff in our runtime from google Colab. now let's see the second option which is R in Python. Over here, if you want to mount the Google Drive, then there are two ways through which you can mount that Google Drive. The one is using this particular command or if you don't want to go this way, then just go to this files, then uh, wait for the options over here. You will get this option mount drive. Just click on it and then it will ask your permission to sign in and access the Google Drive. So I will execute this command import pandas as pd just to showcase that this is the python environment and within which using this particular extension load extension rpyy2.ipython using this extension we will be able to call r from python runtime so now i will execute this command so you can see that it is asking that permit this notebook to access your google drive files so connect to google drive okay so it is asking for the different permission just allow it and you will be able to see that google drive has been mounted so this same process you need to do if you are going to click on this files and then you are going to click on this mount drive option and you can see that you will have another folder over here next using this single percent r command you will be able to access and execute the r script which is available in your google drive so this is the absolute path over here for that r script then in the next cell this double percent r let me remove one person and let me execute this command okay so you can see that name set wd is not defined the reason being this single percent r is going to use for single command only over here using this double percent r we are declaring that particular cell as part of r cell part of r command and now let me execute this command again and you can see that it has set the working directory and then it has executed the r script which is available in my google drive again i am going to execute another command double percent r means i am declaring this entire cell as a part of r and then i am executing different commands now over here within this r runtime within this r environment we have declared a variable called temp now if i want to access it from python terminal or python runtime i won't be able to do that it will say that temp is not defined because it has been declared in r runtime so what i need to do is i need to use this percent r so it is the single percent r and temp and using that i will be able to access that temp variable and let's see if i want to assign that temp variable to the python runtime variable in that case i can use this command x equal to percent r temp and in that case i will be able to access the variable that has been defined in r runtime from python runtime that's it for the day thank you for watching this video